I'm like an old shoe. Now, this to tighten his grip, and considerably. Well, he's a man steeped in golf, is Stuart Ginn. He actually grew up in a house behind the 12th green at Royal Melbourne, one of the classic layouts down there in Australia. So he's well aware that much can still happen on the 18th. Constantino trying his best to get perhaps a sniff of second place if he'd hold that. One under now. Nick Job currently three under. Never mind. And the top five. The Italian. Dogie's on 14 and 16 for Carbonetti. But the resolve is still there. A toiling par four on 17. Up ahead at the closing hole, we find David Merriman, the 2006 winner of the Seniors Tour qualifying school. Three top six finishes in his rookie season last year, and he finished sixth here as well on 216 level par. He's made six birdies today, Costantino Rocca, this to break 70. Yes. Any time you get in the 60s around here at Bataille, it is a good number. Did play in Barbados. A good start to the season, Kim. Sure is. Uh, Stuart Ginn looking forward to the 18th green. And maybe uh, over his shoulder at this man, Nick Job. Nearest challenger. Lots of elevation. Stop the ball quickly and... Once again, those short irons from Job, right out of the top draw, Kim. Super stuff, Alan. Stuart Ginn has chosen one of those wood irons at the 18th. That looks a very good balance swing as well. An experienced Aussie. Oh, hybrid iron, thoroughbred shot. You know, Kim, he's 58 years of age, he's filled up 20 passports travelling the world playing golf, but the heart was racing there on the 18th tee because of the lengthy wait before he actually got to play the shot, and, of course, the significance of it. What a big moment for Nick Job. Little putt, huge significance that could have. Sets up a good finish again, four under, one behind. Pulled his tee shot left on 18, Hospital, but showing that renowned Spanish short game skill. Well, I suppose Gin's put, you have to say, is to slam the door. Yes, Nick Joe would have to hole in one to catch him if he knocks this in. He's had so many good putts in this round. He must be very pleased with his short game today. Tap in left. And then it's over to you, Nick. Yes, because of course he's reverted to the short putter, hasn't he? Was using the broom handle for a while. Carbonetti still is, and that's centre cut. Par on the 17th. A bonus two on 18. And that is one under for the tournament, and pretty much a guaranteed top five placing. Now the man who studied economics at university, and has been economical with his game this week as well. 72, 72, 71. Nice going on your debut, Domingo. Now you know the golf course grapevine. Nick Job, I'm sure, will be well aware of what he needs to do and also the consequence of this putt. Okay, well okay. It's a tough hole, this 18th. Ginn is almost there. He's got better every day. 72, 71, 68. The 58 year old on the threshold. Uh, Nick Job. Hard this 18th hole on days one and two. Needs to go one better now.
Straight up and down. He's eyeing it up and down as well. This could be very good. And it is. Sensational stuff for the man who's fourth on the European Senior Tour all-time money list. That's how successful he's been. And he could add some more lucre to that total. The first prize here, 48,750 euro. Total prize fund, 325,000. It's got the attention of every single player in the field. And now we're down to the business end of what's been a fantastic week. Last chance saloon. This for a playoff. Went for it, but it never threatened. Gin is confirmed as the champion. And, well, a bit part player in the end today, Martin Gray. Shame for him. A couple of great 69s. And he closes with a par and a round of 78. You know, back in November, Kim, at the Kingdom of Bahrain Trophy Senior Tour Championship. It was a par three finish there at the Buckinghamshire. Nick Job three put at 18 to miss out by a stroke to Costantino Rocker. Three puts again, but not quite so expensive. When the birdie put went astray, that was basically that. Yes, he had second place secured on his own. So third in Barbados, second in the Azores. Watch out for him in Poland. Now the comeback man, health-wise, Bob Boyd. Wonderful to see him playing good golf again. It's a top shot at the last and a 74, but nice to see you back, Bob. Yes, heartwarming. After enduring so many near misses, Gen is finally a European Seniors Tour champion. His perseverance has paid off. To win anywhere is great, but you know, I've had a few <laughs> close shaves over the last couple of years, and it's nice to get one under the belt. I, I do work hard off in the off season, and um, you know, to come out and, and to win, and you know, to come from behind like that, I, it's, it's very pleasing. And uh, I'm looking forward to the year. Uh, you know, someone made a very funny comment last year about if I'd have won the British Open last year you know what I, what I go and play in America. No, I'm, I'm here to stay for my end of my career and that's where I'm going to be. Early days of course, but the top two are also first and second on the European Seniors Tour Order of Merit, with Gen leading the way. The man who took one of the lengthiest journeys to be here flies home with the Azores Senior Open Trophy.